This Ken is Era Creations training video will show quilters how to sew together a back for a large quilt. The quilt that I have hanging here is approximately 60 inches by 80 inches long. You'll know that we'll need to do two lengths a little bit longer than 80 in order to create a back for this quilt. In the past you may have cut two 85 inch pieces and sewn them together. Instead we're going to work from one piece. So what I have here is one piece of fabric that's approximately 170 inches long by the width of the fabric. I'm going to unfold it and fold it back together, right sides together. And I'm just going to sew this one piece together instead of cutting it up into two. So when I find my ends, which you really should square off first, I've already squared off my ends, you can see that they're nice and straight. I'll put them together and I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and I'm going to begin sewing. Now I just need to line up my selvages and probably just want to go on the inside, maybe a half an inch, a quarter of an inch, whatever is comfortable. I have a larger foot on this machine. I don't have a quarter inch right now, but I'm just going to begin sewing. When I get to the end, I want to stop about a half an inch from the end and then back stitch. Okay. Now that my whole piece has been stitched, I'm going to take it to my iron and I'm going to press a crease at the end to make a good crease to show where the end of my fabric is. What I can then do is cut along that crease And I now have one large piece for the back of my quilt. You'll likely want to trim that salvage down, but it was much easier than handling two pieces at the same time. 